Hey everyone, this is Steve Huff at stevehuffphoto.com. I'm here today with this fancy looking cool box. And this came from Lomography. This is one of their new art lenses. It's not very new, but this is the Petzval lens that was part of the big Kickstarter campaign, what, about a year ago maybe? A while ago at least. Um, when this came out on Kickstarter, it broke through all the challenges and barriers and they raised all kinds of money. The people wanted this lens to be done and recreated. This is the Petzval lens as originally created in 1839 by Joseph Petzval. Now this is considered, or was considered back in the day, um, the first real portrait lens of its time. Um, and this lens is very unique, very cool looking. The design is all brass and the rendering is out of control unique. It's similar in a way to the Canon Dream lens that, by the way, in M mount, 6-bit coded, have now jumped up to about $4,500. This lens sells for, I believe, $599, 600 bucks, and you get basically a work of art in itself just looking at the lens, let alone using it. So let's open up the box and see what it's all about. Many of you may have already seen this lens uh, on YouTube, in reviews. It's been out for a while. I'm a little late to the game because I never did order one um, because I was unsure about it. This came from Stephen Gandy at Camera Quest. They are now a full Lomography art lens dealer. So you can buy this right now. They have them in stock. Uh, over at CameraQuest.com. We open it up, and as you can see, this is like really cool packaging. So you have this deluxe box, which is kind of like Leica. You know, Leica does this kind of thing, except they don't do it at the uh, $600 price point like this. First of all, we get a book um, that talks about the Petzval art lens, and you get a description, the history, lots of very cool photos showing you what uh, this lens can do and as you can see it gives a sharp rendering in the center of the frame and your out of focus rendering is very dreamlike and very cool at the same time so your bokeh or bokeh however you want to say it is very unique with this lens in fact it's up there like I said with the Canon Dream lens with other crazy classic lenses. This has a very classic rendering. Some will say it's soft, but it's not soft. In the center of the frame, it's pretty sharp. Um, and this was an image taken with a Petzval lens. So the eyes are sharp, and then it just melts away into some crazy goo, goo land mess. Um, the uh, lens comes with a warranty card. On the back, it says, register the guarantee for your new Petzval art lens online. And you can register the lens and that will activate your warranty. You also get a little certificate. On the back, it says, your new Petzval art lens is lovingly crafted from brass on natural metal. Um, it's telling you basically that each one is one of a kind. You may have imperfections in your finish. And that each lens is made separately. So there you go. I can't believe all this is just for $5.99 that you're getting this. Inside, as you can see, the lens here. I'm going to take it out of its plastic bag. And it's made out of solid brass. Check it out. You can hear the metal. The uh, lens hood is a screw on. I haven't had it off yet. You could take off the lens hood. That's also brass. This is where you focus your lens, right here. So as it's on your camera, you look through the viewfinder and you turn this to focus your lens. It works very easily. And truth be told, I shot about 10 frames with it yesterday to test it. And I really, really liked the way this works. I wish other lenses would have this kind of focus. It just seems more precise. You don't have to wrap your hand around here. It's just right here, it's real easy. Um, this particular lens is in Nikon mount, and I wanted to use it on my full frame Sony a7S, so I have to use this adapter. This is a Rayqual adapter, which basically converts your Nikon mount to a Sony E mount, and because this lens is indeed full frame, 
it can be used on full frame digital or film um, and you will get the full benefit of the lens. You're not going to miss out like an APS-C sensor. If you put this on an APS-C, you're not going to be using the full image circle and you're going to miss out on some of that signature look. So the lens itself is beautiful. It's all metal, metal mount, um, brass construction, and it's hefty. You get this deluxe packaging, the book and everything for 600 bucks. To me, um, that seems like a really good price for something that's actually considered a work of art, in my opinion. One cool thing about this, whoops, one cool thing about this is the, how do you change the aperture? There's no aperture click stops, but it's a Waterhouse style aperture system. Right now I just have the one inside that will protect this from dust entering inside the lens because when you take out the aperture, there's a little slit here and if dust collects in there, it can get in between your lens elements. So basically, the way you change the aperture is, I will show you here, by taking them out, I think they're in one of these, maybe they're in this one. So inside one of the boxes, you have this little pouch and this pouch has your little um, devices that you will use to change your aperture. And here they are. So say I want it to be wide open. This lens is an 85 millimeter f2.2 lens at its widest aperture. So this would be what I put in if I want to shoot at f2.2, which is how you're going to get the most character out of the lens. If you want to stop it down and make the lens sharp, you can use the f5.6 aperture. And the way this works is basically you take out the, protected, the protective one, which keeps your uh, slot sealed off when you're not using it. And I'm gonna put in the 2.2 aperture. And there you go, now we're shooting at f2.2. And anytime you're done shooting, you should take out the aperture that you're using and put back in the blank one that will keep your lens protected from dust and the elements. So I'm going to throw back in the f2.2 as that is how I will shoot this lens 98% of the time. So it's pretty unique in that way. It's very old school. It's very charming, uh, romantic because you're using something that's, it's a recreation of course, and it's smaller than the original, but it's like a piece of history. Um, on the back engraved in the brass is the serial number. My serial number is 9,840. Um, which this is almost the 10,000th lens made. It's actually made in Russia. So this is built in Russia and everything is nicely bra or engraved in the brass. It looks so nice. You can see the Petsfall logo, maybe, <laughs> in there. And all everything is built to a high standard with this lens. It feels really nice. It feels so much nicer than standard Nikon lenses, though this is not anything like a standard lens. So you also get in the box a lens cleaning cloth, okay? And we're also going to see what's over here. I believe inside of this is your leather case for the lens. So the lens comes with a beautiful leather pouch that says Lomography Art Lenses right there and it will hold the lens inside the pouch. So if you're traveling or you want to carry this lens in a camera bag you can put it in the pouch basically. So that's it. That's my basic overview of the Petzval lens, an 85 millimeter f2.2. I took some test shots with it outside and have to say that it gives one of the most unique looks I've ever seen, but at the same time, it's very classic. It's not going to be an everyday lens. Uh, this is not sharp across the frame in any way. It doesn't provide smooth bokeh. It doesn't provide um, a modern look whatsoever. But what it does provide is something so unique that if you use this lens sparingly from time to time, even incorporated into wedding work 
or portrait work, people are going to be saying, wow, this guy takes some unique photos or this girl takes some unique photos. How do they do that? Uh, I had somebody email me yesterday saying, how did you get the background like that in that photo? And I said, well, you just shoot this lens wide open. So <clears throat> this lens was sent to me to review by Stephen Gandy. He's like, check it out for a couple weeks. And if you like it, you can buy it. Um, because I was on the fence. So now that I've received it and I looked at it and felt it and shot with it on my Sony a7S um, and saw the results, I'm going to be sending him an email today saying, I'm buying it. How much do I owe you? So I think that this lens is a very special lens. I'm glad Lamography came out with it. I'm glad they did the Kickstarter for it. And I'm glad it was so successful because it's things like this that bring back some of the joy to photography. Um, if you're shooting every day with a plain old, you know, whatever, 51.4 Nikon or Canon or whatever, you get used to it. And then sometimes something comes along, um, you get a little bored. Sometimes something comes along that motivates you and livens you up and makes you excited to get out there and try it. This is one of those products. It's so unique that even when you're out shooting with it, people are going to be like, what the hell is on your camera? And you could even lie and say, oh, it's a lens from 1840, you know, and they're going to be like, whoa, that's crazy. But um, the rendering it provides for portraits is surreal. And if you look around and choose your backgrounds carefully, you can start to get an idea of what they're going to look like rendered with this lens. For example, at Christmas time, this is going to be a really cool lens because if you put some Christmas lights mid distance in the background, then somebody, you know, in front of them standing far away from them, the effect is going to be crazy cool. So um, I'm buying this guy for myself. What can I say? I'm a lens addict and I needed a good, a cool 85 anyway. So I'll be using this on my Sony a7, which is <clears throat> probably my favorite camera. It's an amazing camera. I've had it for months and I just don't get tired of it. Um, so there we go, the lid fell off easily. It does come off kind of easily. It's a very light fit. But <clears throat> if you're someone who likes a unique look, take a look at this for 600 bucks. It's a great price. I highly recommend it. You can get it over at camerquest.com <clears throat> from Stephen Gandy. And my voice is starting to go, so sorry about that. But always check back to stephaphoto.com for news, reviews, daily inspirations, and cool stuff like this, the Petsfall lens. Check it out. I love it. Thanks for watching. If you like it, thumbs up, and have a great day. Bye.